What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here, and we are closing out 2016. And although a lot of people are doing these rewind videos and they're showing the best of their 2016 years, I might do that. But I'm gonna do something here that I've never done before. And considering my channel has been over four years old now, I decided I wanna go ahead and do a video about the top five favorite builds I've done on this channel since it started. I know some of you are really sick of the whole top five trend, but you know, it's, it's a good round number, although it's odd. It's a, it's a good odd round number, if you will, but it's technically gonna be more because I had a couple of honorable mentions in there as well. With its unique freeform modular system, the new Mastercase Maker 5 from Cooler Master allows unparalleled flexibility with its adjustable internal layout and exterior customization options. Learn more about how you can start customizing your own case by following the link down in the description. Now this first one is pretty sentimental to me. It is the ultimate gaming build that I did a few months after the channel started. I was contacted by a viewer who was impressed with my work and he was interested in having me build a computer for him with a budget of, uh, well, I think it was $4,000 at the time. But what makes this one sentimental to me was the fact that it was my first paid client build based on the channel. It was the first time the channel was contacted in efforts of having me build something for pay, which was which was kind of neat. It was the first time I'd really made any money on the channel. It was also one of the first times I got to play with like the latest high-end hardware that was available at the time. It had a 3770K in it. It was water-cooled. It had two MSI Twin Frozer 680s in there. It had 16 gigabytes of ballistic memory. Uh, we did a little bit of case modding to it too. We ended up removing the drive cages from there and mounting the cages or the hard drives to the back of the motherboard tray. Uh, had dual radiators in there and it also had a custom uh, window that was mounted in there that I did myself with a Dremel and a file and all that stuff. So it holds a little bit of uh, sentimental value to me because like I said, it was the very first build that I was paid to do because of the channel. I've been paid to build, do builds all the time before that, especially working in IT and then I had my own little computer building business I sort of did on the side, but it was the first time the channel had generated any side revenue and that was big. Now, of course, when you mention publicly in a video that you did a client build, you get a bunch more people contacting you about being interested in getting more client builds done or asking how much it's gonna cost me to build them a computer. So that's why number four here holds a little bit of sentimental value as well for the same reasons as number five, because it was my second client build I was actually paid to do on the channel. And it was by a gentleman named Eric and he wanted a small form factor PC, but not too small but not too big. He wanted to be able to move it back and forth between home and work and stuff. So we built him a pretty cool PC using a Silverstone case that was a very upright rectangular shape. But of course it was sporting the latest and greatest at that time as well, which was a 4770K. It had 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. It had a GTX 780 in there, which really, really was like a dagger in the heart to me because I was still running my 680 and I wanted a 780 so bad, but I couldn't afford it. And well, you guys know how the story turned out later. I ended up having three of them, but I digress. This is about Eric's build right here. And it was really fun because it was my first time building in a case that was so unique and different like the Silverstone case. And of course I did a how to build a PC video using his parts as well. So it was like, it was like two birds with one stone. I was paid to do the build and I was also uh, doing a how-to video. And that was when I came up with the idea of also coming up with like a certified, you know, certificate of authenticity, if you will, saying that I built the computer. Cause you'd be surprised how many people out there now are selling computers claiming I built them for them to try and up the price. Which is funny, cause I still think if I build or touch your computer, it's gonna, it's gonna go down in value. But that's kind of besides the point. Keeping with the trend of client builds, Red Mist 2.0 was actually one of my favorite builds here coming in at number three. Now why 2.0 and not 1.0? Well, that's because I got the opportunity of correcting some of the things I didn't like about Red Mist 1.0 because we had some limitations with budget and time. And 2.0, although it took a long time to get done, was a big deal because we got to do, again, latest and greatest, well, almost latest and greatest, if you will. The 5960X CPU in there is a beast, but unfortunately by the time the build was done, the 6950X was already, you know. Yeah, we won't we won't go into much into depth in that one. It's still a little bit of a sore subject for him. But again, a shit ton of DDR4 memory and two GTX 1080s on water. And his build was the first time I got to experiment with water on the Pascal series. Cause you know, when you're doing all these builds and stuff, you're doing these videos, a lot of times my 
stuff tends to get put on the back burner. There's things I wanna do. There's things I wanna do with Skunk Works right now that I still haven't even had the time to do because of the fact that I'm so busy doing everything else. It's kind of like when you're a mechanic, your cars tend to be the last ones that get fixed because you're busy fixing everyone else's. So Red Mist was kind of fun because it gave me an opportunity to really kind of decide where I wanted to go with the upgrade for Skunk Works. And that's why I like Red Mist 2.0, because it just, it looked better, it performed better, it was just badass. And I was also getting to build a PC for a friend because the owner of Red Mist, although he contacted me as a stranger when we did Red Mist 1.0, has become a friend of mine. And we talk a lot now outside of, of YouTube and, and doing builds and stuff for him. And it's also led to, uh, I, think a, I think a cool relationship and dynamic because he also got me in touch with Case Labs because he was a friend of the, uh, one of the owners of Case Labs. And so he was actually my contact in my end to Case Lab. So whereas I was helping him, he was helping me. It, it just turned into like a big old kumbaya. So that's why he comes in at number three with Red Mist 2.0. Now number two, I think number two might surprise some people here because it is the Fractal Define Nano S build that I did using the glass tubing and the 4790K and of course the Z97 um, Stinger motherboard a lot of water cooling crammed into a little bitty case using glass tubes. It was the first time I used glass tubes, but more importantly, it was the first time a company had contacted me asking me if I was interested in building a computer to be showcased featuring their product. I had never been contacted by any company in the past about building a computer that they could show off somewhere. So that also led to the Newegg event where I did a live demonstration in front of people on how to build a computer and we used the Define Nano S for that build in a air-cooled configuration, but next to it on stage the entire time was the Define Nano S, uh, which people could come and take a look at and see up close using the glass, and it was the first time using glass materials. It was the first time a company had ever paid me to build a computer, and it was just kind of like stepping stones, if you will. Client builds are huge, but when companies start to recognize your work and want you to build computers for them, it becomes a pretty, uh, a pretty nostalgic thing. That's why that computer has stayed together. A lot of the builds I've done that I've shown on the channel that weren't client builds are temporary and they come apart. And sometimes I'm really huge fans of those, but um, the parts have to be reused. I don't have endless parts around here as much as it might seem like where I can just be, keep building computers. So that one got to stay together and I got to keep it, which was which was actually pretty cool. In fact, it even got featured in the latest holiday build where you guys saw Coconut Monkey, you know, he was bent down. He's like, golly, it's a custom build in front, inside a Fractal Define Nano S featuring, you know, blah, 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 blah. I can't even remember the line, which is funny because he had a hard time saying the line and I could nail it. Now I can't nail it and I bet you he can. Jeepers, a custom build by Jay's Two Cents inside a Fractal Design Define Nano S. I love the holidays. So my most favorite build on this channel should be absolutely no surprise. The super high-end Skunk Works didn't even make the list. My favorite build I've ever done on this channel is actually the build I did with my daughter where I taught her how to build her own PC. She was only five and she still uses it to this day. That was a moment where I got to share a passion of mine that I make an entire living on today that started when I was the same age that she was when we did that build. So it really was a true generational video where I just got to, I was so proud of her because she built 99% of that computer on her own. There was only a couple little things I had to help her with. And she, she uses the crap out of that computer today. It has nothing to do with the specs. I had there, the specs are nothing to write home about. It's a AMD A10 7850K. It's got 16 gigabytes of Radeon 2400 megahertz memory. Yeah, it's got AMD branded memory in there. And it's got an R7 250 Sapphire uh, graphics card in there, which is passive cooled. It is, it is definitely nothing to write home about. But it's also time to upgrade her because she's starting to do things and play games now where the computer is definitely starting to show its age. So we are gonna be doing a video here while she's on her winter break on her upgrading and probably building a whole new PC anyway. So that, that should definitely be a no brainer, that father daughter moment. She already breaks the mold. She's a girl, she's into computers, she's into games, smashing stereotypes every which way that you possibly can. And I couldn't be more proud of her or that build or just what we accomplished with that build. So Skunk Works didn't even make the list. It doesn't even stand 
It doesn't even hold a candle compared to that. All right, so some honorable mentions here. You guys might be asking yourself, why didn't Skunk Works make the list? Well, that's easy. Skunk Works is never in its final form. As the channel is growing and progressing, the build behind me will continue to evolve with the channel as well. It's always a centerpiece of mine. It's always changing. Even the colors have changed. It's been yellow, it's been orange, and now it's green. Who knows, maybe try blue next time. I don't know. It's always changing because so am I. So is the channel and the way this whole channel runs is always evolving and that's what Skunk Works represents. So it's kind of hard to have a favorite form of Skunk Works. It's already gotten like, I wanna say five different versions starting at the 4790K. So it's really hard to actually nail that one down to a favorite build because it's never done. Uh, but two honorable mentions though that I have to mention that have also been some of my favorite builds on here um, are by far one I surprised Coconut Monkey with him building a computer, not realizing he was actually building his birthday present this last summer. Uh, it was a 5820K, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It had GTX 980 Ti in there. Um, it was a it was a pretty badass build, and it was in a Corsair 780T, I think it was 760T, something like that. I don't remember exactly which case it was. I let him pick the parts and put it together, and he didn't know that the whole time he was building his own. Christmas or birthday present. And then of course, another honorable mention is the PC I recently built for my friend who is in the process of opening a charter school uh, geared towards group home kids and giving them a gateway to college. And he's someone who actually got me started in getting passionate about PC gaming. I was always into PC, but PC gaming uh, especially, and he's one of the biggest influences that you guys have, have never known about behind the scenes of this channel. So I surprised him with a build. There was a video on that. You guys can watch it here. And uh, I, I got him. He was shocked as hell. He didn't know what to do. He was he was actually shaking, which was crazy. But uh, anyway, let me know which builds are your favorite. And I think for 2017, the Terry Crews build will be on that list. Guys, Terry Crews build is coming. We have to get through the holidays. There's so much going on. Um, it, it, that's why it's taking so long. The holidays jack everything up for everybody, as you know. But those are just about over, which means we can proceed. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to get the hell on out of here because I'm done talking and you guys are probably done listening. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Something big is also coming right at the beginning of 2017. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It involves all of you and it gives all of you a chance to also be the elite of PCMR. We'll talk about it more a little bit later. Thanks for watching guys. As always, I'll see you in the next one.